you can play your own music or feel free to um, use mine. Um, doesn't really matter. It's your practice. Um, I don't cue a ton of breaks, so make sure that you listen to your body. Drink some water, take child pose when needed. Um, you know the drill. And I'm going to offer you different um, options for class today. So if you want something a little bit more spicy, you can, you can take them or just ignore me. <laughs> but, okay, so let's go ahead and start whatever music you're going to start playing. We're going to um, begin our practice tonight in um, child's pose. So you're going to place your knees wide, big toes touch. Stretch your arms long on your mat, forehead towards the mat. If your forehead doesn't reach the mat, you can grab a block or a pillow, whatever you have in your area, and just sink your sit bones close to your heels. And settle into your child's pose. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale through your nose and exhale. Deep inhale and exhale. Gonna inhale everything you'd like to receive in your practice today and exhale everything that you like to leave on the mat. New year, new goals. But right now we're just going to focus on what we can do today. We don't compare ourselves to anyone else. We don't compare ourselves to what we could do yesterday. We're just going to focus on what we're able to do today in this very moment. Deep breaths here. On your next inhale, push down on your palms, rise up to tabletop position. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Nice flat back. Engage your core, stretch the crown of your head to the front of the room. Inhale, lower your belly, lift your chin slightly into cow pose. Exhale, push away the ground, arch your back, really engage your core, navel to spine, the cat. Inhale, back to cow, sink a little deeper. And exhale, arch your back into the cat. Continue using your breath to move your body at your own pace. If you want to change things up, you can do some hip circles. Listen to your body. You can do a barrel roll. You can listen to whatever your body is calling for. We're just waking up the spine. Come back to neutral. Re-engage your core. Tuck your toes. Lift your kneecaps off your mat, just an inch or two. Really engage everything in and up. And start using our ujjayi breath. So breathe in and out of your nose with a slight restriction in the back of your throat. It will help move all your energy throughout your entire body. You're not stuck here permanently, so get all those negative thoughts out of your head. You can do this. Two more breaths here. And lift your hips up to the sky, heels towards the mat. You can bend one knee and then the other. Shake your head yes and no. Settle into downward facing dog. So push away the ground with your palms of your hands. Lift your hips up towards the sky as you sink your heels close to the mat. Inhale, float to plank. 
so you can stay upright or lower your knees down if you need a little more support in your body. You can use your ujjayi breath, if not permanent. Deep breath in and exhale. Inhale, exhale, bend your elbows, lower yourself down towards the mat for five, four, three, two, and one. Untuck your toes. Inhale, peel your chest off the ground, just a little bit in the cobra pose. So engage your glutes, feet are hip distance apart, elbows into your side, and exhale, forehead to mat. Inhale, peel your chest off, maybe get a little bit higher, your neck is in line with your spine at all times, and exhale, forehead to mat. Slide your hands underneath your elbows, Peel your chest off the ground. This time, get a little bit taller, maybe even go all the way up into high cobra. And if you're still seeking a little bit more, lift off the tops of your feet, hover your entire legs an inch or two off the ground, upward facing dog. Pull your chest in between your two arms. You're gonna burst through. Inhale, exhale, roll over your toes, push your hips up to the Sky, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale here. And an exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale your right heel to the sky. Extend your heel all the way up. Exhale, bring your knee towards your nose and place your foot in between your two hands. Lower your left knee towards the ground and untuck your toe. Make sure your right knee is over your ankle and inhale your arms to the sky. Shoulders away from your ears, squeeze your hips towards one another. Bend your elbows, cactus your arms and arch your back slightly. And bring your arms back up to the sky. Stay here or push off the top of your left foot. Hover your left knee over your mat. Kind of a power move here. So. If you're not able to do it, no worries. Just stay it towards the ground. You can always tuck your back toe and lift your back knee that way. Inhale, exhale, hands to the mat, step back to plank, breathe in. Exhale, lower all the way down or pause halfway in chaturanga. If you took chaturanga, roll over your toes, upward facing dog, or stick with cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog, deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale your left heel to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot all the way through. Lower your right knee to the ground, untuck your toes. Rise up, stack your shoulders over your hips. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus your arms, arch your back, get a little deeper this time. Inhale, arms to the sky. Again, pause here or try for the power move. Push off the top of your right foot. Squeeze everything into the middle. Engage your core. Shoulders away from your ears. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank. Breathe in. Exhale, lower to your degree. Inhale, back bend of choice. Exhale, hip up. Downward facing dog. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, look to your hands, step to the top of your mat, place your feet right behind your wrists, about hip distance apart. Bend your knees, let your head be an anchor. You can grab opposite elbows. Allow your entire back line to open up. Shake your head yes and no again. Place your right hand on the mat. Stretch your left arm up to the sky. You can straighten your left leg a little bit for a nice twist. Really stretch your fingers up towards the ceiling. Gaze can be up at your fingertips, out in front of you or down towards the mat. Listen to your neck, inhale and exhale. Let's switch arms, so place your left hand down, right arm up. Inhale. Exhale, hands on the mat, heel toe your feet together, big toes touch, heel separate. We're gonna rise up slowly, vertebra by vertebra, 
head is last to rise. Stretch your arms over your head, maybe gaze up to the ceiling, exhale, hands to heart center. Before we start moving, let's find our Tadasana Mountain Pose. Really, we're gonna rock forward slightly and then back and side to side, find your center. Once you find your cent found your center, ground down on all four corners of your feet, engage your kneecap, pull in your glutes, I mean your, excuse me, your pelvis, open your chest, chin is slightly bent down just a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees forward, fold, dive all the way down towards the ground as far as you can go. Inhale, slide your hands on your shin. Gaze out in front of you. Engage your core, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, rise up, strong legs, strong arms. Use a little back bend up here. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step your right foot back, and then bring your left foot back. Find plank pose, inhale. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Breathe in, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right heel up to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Right, keep your back heel lifted. Ground down in your feet. Squeeze your hips together and rise up. Crescent lunge. Inhale. And exhale. Sink a little lower. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the mat. Step back to plank. We'll meet in downward facing dog. You can skip chaturanga and back bend if you want to. And meet us in downward facing dog. We're going to do a lot of vinyasa today. Inhale. Left heel up. Exhale, bring your foot all the way forward. Back heel stays lifted. Squeeze your hips towards one another. Inhale, arms up, crescent lunge. Breathe in here. Exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank. Lower to your degree. Inhale, back bend of choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, lift your hands. Exhale, all the air up. Step or you can hop all the way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise up strong, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back to plank. We'll meet in downward facing dog. You can hop back to find your chaturanga if you care to. Inhale your right heel all the way up. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Rise up, crescent lunge. You have been here just before. Exhale, sink a little lower. Breathe in. Exhale, this time open your arms out to the right side of your mat. So your right arm is stretched to the back of the mat, left arm to the front of the mat. You can gaze out in front of you or try to gaze over your right shoulder. Keep a nice lunge in your front leg. If your right knee is dipping towards the center, pull your right hip back so your knee traces over your pinky side. Breathe in here. And exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale, exhale, bring your right hand and bet, um, try to lean it towards your left foot. Kind of a reverse open arm twist. Or you can just stay in open arm twist. Inhale, exhale, come back to crescent lunge. Okay, so hips and shoulders face the front of the room, breathe in. Exhale, place your hands on the mat, reach your left hand, left excuse me, leg up to the sky. So you're standing split here. Right leg is solidly on the ground. Left leg is stretching to the ceiling. Now you can stay in standing splits or you can inhale with me. And exhale, bring your knees together. Curl up into a little ball. And extend your left knee, 
lift foot up again. Inhale. Exhale, bring your knee to your knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step back to plank. Rinse it out your way. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, your left heel up. Exhale, step all the way forward. Rise up, crescent lunge. Breathe in here. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, open arm twist to the left this time. So strong back leg, strong front leg. Open your arms, really broaden your, your collarbone. The left side of the room. Gaze over your left shoulder if possible. Spread your fingers long, stretch your arms out nice and strong. Inhale, exhale, try to reverse open arm twist. So bring your left arm to your right thigh. Inhale, and exhale, sweep your left arm down and up. Find crescent lens, breathe in. Exhale, place your hands on the mat, stretch your right foot up to the sky. Standing split. So you can stay here or inhale your leg a little higher. Exhale, bring knee to knee. Inhale, heel up. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, heel to the sky. Exhale, step back to plank. And vinyasa your way to downward facing dog. Or again, just meet us in downward facing dog. We're gonna speed that up a little bit. So one breath, one movement. So if anyone, if you get lost, you get tired, you can take child's pose or just meet us in downward facing dog. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, step forward. Breathe in, crescent lunge. Breathe out, open arm twist. One breath here, one breath out. Inhale, reach your arms back, reverse. And exhale, sink your arm down and up. Face the front of the room, crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, stretch your leg up. Breathe in, straight leg. Exhale, knee to knee. Breathe in, straight leg. Exhale, knee to knee. Breathe in, straight leg. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, straight leg. Step back to plank. Breathe in. Exhale, halfway or all the way. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, step forward. Breathe in, crescent lunge. Exhale, open arm twist. Pause here for breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach your left arm back, right arm overhead, reverse. And exhale, find crescent lunge. Breathe in here. And exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, right foot up to the sky. Breathe in. And exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, heel up. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, heel up. Knee to knee. Inhale, heel to the sky. Step back to plank. And meet me in downward facing dog. One more time, each side. So right foot up, inhale. Exhale, step forward. Breathe in, crescent lunge. Exhale, open arm twist. One breath here, one breath out. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, crescent lunge. Breathe in here. Exhale, hands to the mat, standing splits. Inhale, exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, straighten, step back to plank. Lower to your degree. Inhale, back bend of choice, and exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel up. Step all the way forward. Crescent lunge, reach all the way up. Exhale, open arm twist, breathe in here. And exhale. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, step your leg up to the sky, standing foot, knee to knee. Standing split, knee to knee. Standing split, knee to knee. Straighten your out leg, standing split, and step back. Now hold your plank. Option to hang here. 
or lower your knees for more support. Notice where your hips are, if they're too high or too low. Create one long line of energy from your heels to the top of your head. Squeeze everything up, so engage your glutes, engage your core. Lift off your palms, so you're not dumping down to your shoulders. Now stay here or tap your opposite shoulder with your opposite hand. Try to go nice and controlled. Try to not move the rest of your body. Good. Use your breath. You're doing amazing. Keep it going. Nice. Again, you can always drop your knees or hit child's pose if you need a break. You're going to be here for 20 more seconds. Well, now 15. Again, try not to move your lower part of your body. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees wide, big toes touch, forehead to the mat. Deep breath in through your nose and sigh it all out. Inhale through your nose and exhale. You can stay here, or if you need to, or if you need a little break, but if you want to join me, meet me up in Downward Facing Dog. Hips up, heels down. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, all the air out. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Regain your Tadasana, your mountain pose. If your toes are really gripping the, the mat, let them release. Lift them up. Let them release. Spread your energy throughout your entire body. Now heel toe your feet so they're about hip distance apart. Breathe in your arms all the way up. And exhale your tailbone sink down to the ground. Now, if you have a block or a pillow or a book or something or nothing, it doesn't matter. You can place it in between your thighs just for a little, a little more inner thigh work. Regardless, we're going to be in chair pose. So you want your weight to be in your heels. Wiggle your toes so you know that your weight is back there. Squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Sink a little lower. Extend your tailbone to the ground as you extend your crown of your head to the ceiling. Sink a little lower. We're gonna do tiny pulses here. So just lift and lower a little bit, 20, about 20 of them. Halfway done. Shoulders away from your ears. Five, four, three, two, and one. And remove the block. Think back to chair for one more breath. Inhale, think low, low, low. Exhale, forward fold. All out. Breathe in. Halfway lift. Exhale. Hands to the mat. Step back to plank. And rinse it out your way. Inhale your right heel all the way up. Now you can bring your right knee to your right elbow. Or for a little bit more of a challenge, keep your legs straight. And try to tap right by your pinky or the ground somewhere. And then bring your leg all the way up. So knee to elbow or knee to the ground. Let's try that one more time. So inhale, leg up. Exhale, tap the ground or your knee. Or your elbow, excuse me. One more time. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, ground or elbow. Inhale, leg up. And exhale, step all the way forward. Ground your back heel down. You can place your right hand on the ground on a block. Or you can place your right forearm on your thigh. Extend the side angle. So your left arm comes reaching to the sky as your right hand finds its place for wherever you're most comfortable. Squeeze your, your um, heels towards one another. So your legs are super strong. Try not to dump into your right leg. So keep your upper body nice and engaged wherever you are. Broaden your chest to the front of, or the side of the room. Inhale. And 
and exhale. Inhale, cartwheel your arms to the back of the room, reverse warrior. Maintain a nice lens in your front leg. Let's get sink a little lower if you want. Stretch your right pinky towards the ground. Maybe open your chest up to the ceiling. Inhale here. Exhale, carve your arms back to extend side angle. Now we're gonna inhale back to reverse warrior. So we're gonna start rolling our arms back and forth. Doing this three times. So that's two. One more time. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands to the mat. Flip back to plank and rinse it out your way. Inhale your left heel up. Now again, you can bring your left knee to your left elbow or keep your left leg straight and tap it to the ground. Bring your leg up, inhale. Exhale, tap knee to or ground. Inhale, heel up. Exhale, tap knee to ground. And inhale, leg up. Step all the way forward. Ground your right heel down to the mat. Again, place your left hand on the on a block or the mat, or place your forearm on your left side. Then extend your right arm to the sky. Use your elbow and your left arm to really keep your knee towards the pinky side of your left foot. Notice where your hips are if you're sticking out to the left. Squeeze them in. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, cartwheel your arms back to reverse warrior. Again, look to your front knee. Make sure you're maintaining a nice long lunge and that your knee's not dumping into the center. Inhale here. And exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your arms back to extend side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extend side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back to plank. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, all the air out, step or hop to the top of your mat. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So we're gonna speed that up, one breath, one movement. Okay. So inhale, back to chair. Exhale, sink a little lower. One breath here, inhale. Exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step or hop back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right heel up. Exhale, tap your elbow or the ground with your knee or toe. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, bring your right foot all the way forward. Left heel comes down. And extend the side angle again. So as you're on the ground, on a block, or on your thigh, wherever that looks. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, cartwheel your arms back to reverse warrior. Exhale, stand aside angle. Two more of these. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, stand aside angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended. Nice work, you guys. Inhale, round reverse here. Exhale, bring your arms out to a T, warrior two. So you maybe want to lengthen your stance a little bit. Think a little lower. Pull your right hip back so you can see your big toe. Now, if you have a block, you might want to put it, or a book, or a chair, or whatever. You might want to put another foot in front of you and to the right. We're going to move ourselves into half moon. So you might, or you can use the ground. Okay, not a big deal. So we're going to inhale here. Look to where you want to go. Exhale. Lean on your right foot. Push off your left foot. Bring your right hand on the block or the ground or a chair or the wall or nothing. Lots of options. Left toe is pointing to the left side of the room. Extend your left arm up. 
Pretend someone's lifting your arm up, trying to pull you up to the ceiling. Engage your core. Now stay here, or you can try to do a little circle with your leg, do a little challenge. Or just try to balance. One more breath here. Exhale, bend your knee, come back to warrior two, breathe in. And then exhale, rinse it out. Okay, you don't have to do chaturangas and back bends. You can always go straight to downward facing bag. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, tap your toe or your elbow. And lift it all the way up, inhale. Exhale, step forward. Ground down in your back heel. Extended side angle on this side. One breath here. One breath out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended. One more time. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, arms out to a T, warrior two. Pausing here, breathing. And exhale. You might want to move your block. Again, a foot in front of you, maybe off to the side a little bit to the left. One more breath in. Exhale, lean on your left foot. Reach your right foot up to the sky. Half moon pose. Inhale, exhale, bend your front leg, float back to warrior two, inhale, exhale, vinyasa, and rinse it out. A deep inhale here, and exhale, inhale your right heel up, exhale, tap your elbow or the ground, inhale, leg up, exhale, step forward. Ground down and left in your left heel, extend a side angle. One breath here, one breath out. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend a side angle. Two more times. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend a side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend a side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Pause here for breath. One breath in. Exhale, shoot your foot off to warrior, excuse me, half moon pose. One breath here, one breath out. Slowly come down to warrior two one more time, right? Now we're gonna slide our, or lift our, place our left hand down and up, if I can talk, to crescent lunge. So hips and shoulders face in the front of the room. Again, we're gonna lean on our right foot, but this time lean forward. Shoot off with your left foot again. Find warrior three. So you can use your block here, or your hands can be in prayer position on your hips, out behind you, wherever you're feeling comfortable. Push the heel towards the back of the room. Extend the crown of the head. Try to become parallel to the ground. Toe pointing down. Inhale. Exhale, float back to plank. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Nice work, guys. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, tap the ground or your elbow. Bring your leg up, inhale. And exhale, step forward. Back heel comes down. Find extended side angle. One breath here. One breath out. Inhale, reverse. You're just cartwheeling your arms back and forth. Two more times. Reverse. And extend it. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend it. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, arms out to a T, warrior two. Hold here for breath, inhale. Exhale, shoot forward, find half moon. One breath here. One breath out. Inhale. Exhale, float back to warrior two, inhale. Exhale, sweep your right arm down and up. Crescent lunge. Now find, find all your strength in your right leg again. Lean forward and shoot your right foot off. Find warrior three. 
pull your right hip down so your hips are parallel to each other. Engage your core. Squeeze your inner thighs together. One more breath. And exhale. Step back to plank and sit up. Inhale, slow to plank. Now, again, option to lower your knees. We're gonna rotate our heels to the right side of your mat. Now, many options for side plank. You can lower your, your knee to the ground. You can place your left foot on top, out in front, or really in front for more stability. Find your legs and stretch your left, left arm to the sky, side plank. Squeeze your hips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your inner thighs towards another. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, try to lift your leg up towards the sky. And if you still need a little bit more, try to do little circles one way and then the other. Use your breath. You're gonna place your hands on the mat, come back to plank. Find center and then rotate your heels to the left. Place your feet wherever they're most comfortable. Side plank. Each side might be different, so listen to your body. Press your hips up to the sky. Maybe lift your top leg up. Try to do little circles one way and then the other. Bring your hands to the mat. Knees to the mat. Child's pose. Deep inhale here. And exhale. Now again, if you need a little bit more of a rest, please feel free to take that now, or if you are ready to move on, just need a downward facing dog. You can pedal out your feet, flutter out your lips, shake your head. Inhale your right heel all the way to the sky. Bring your right foot by your right pinky. Bend your back leg and step your left foot by your left pinky. Find a yogi squat or malasana. Now you don't have to go all the way down. If this is the lowest you can go, that's awesome. Doesn't matter. If you can sink a little lower, that's great. If you need a little help, you can place a block underneath your sit bones. We're gonna place our elbows into our knees to keep our knees wide. Make sure that your knees are pointed to wherever your toes are pointed. In here. Inhale, we're gonna lift all the way up. So squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze your glutes, rise all the way up. Heel toe your feet together. Lean everything on your right foot. Find a spot on the wall that's not moving. Find your strong leg, engage everything up, zip it all up. Near, bend your elbow into your side and Bend your knee, your left knee, into your left hand. Squeeze your inner thighs together and extend your right arm overhead. This is a great place to stop. If you need to work on your balance. Inhale. Exhale. If you need a little bit more, hinge forward. Push your foot into your hand. Extend your right arm towards the front of the room. Dancers pose. Now, if you're working on your balance, you need a little help, just grab a wall, chair, doesn't matter. It's not about being perfect. This is a practice. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly come on down. Try to bring your knee into your chest. Now we're gonna hinge forward one more time. Extend your heel to the back of the room. Warrior three, one more time. Slowly lower down. Cartwheel your arms open to warrior two. Inhale, straighten your legs, straighten your arms. We're gonna face the left side of the room. So your toes out, heels in. Squat in a wide squat, goddess pose. So try to get as low as you can. You can place your hands wherever you want, doesn't matter. 
We're gonna do little pulses like we did with our chair pose, so about 20 of them. Really engaging your inner thighs, using your heels to lift and lower halfway through. Good, inhale, arms to the sky, straight legs. Exhale, forward fold, all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands to the front of the room. Place your hands on either side of your right foot. Heel comes up from the back. Lower your left knee to the mat. Untuck your toes. We're just gonna straighten and bend our right leg. Just to kind of lubricate your knees a little bit. And then keep your knee forward. Try not to have your knee come over your feet. You can stay here with your hands down on blocks, or if you want a little bit more of a, oh, of a stretch, sorry, I have a hair in my mouth. Um, place your hands on your thighs. Now place your hands on the mat, walk your hands back. You can also bring your blocks with you if you need a little bit more. Your heel is grounded into the mat, toes facing up, your toes can be pointed to your head, half split. Then ground down in your heel, engage your hamstring, and try to move your sit bones closer to your heel. Release that, come back up, dig your heel in, engage your hamstring, and sit back as much as you can. Let's do that one more time, so release that. Dig your heel into the mat, flex your foot, engage your hamstring, and then try to sit back. Good, release that. We're gonna bend, we're gonna try to sit all the way back into half hero. So this isn't available to you. You can use a block or a pillow or whatever, anything underneath your bum to bring the ground closer to you. So your left knee is bent into your leg, getting a nice quad stretch. Stay upright here and make sure your, left, your right foot is active. Stay upright or lower down. So go nice and slow. So maybe start by going down to your forearms and pausing here saying, hmm, is that okay with my body? If it's okay, you can maybe lower a little lower. Maybe go all the way down. Slowly make yourself all the come up. And just as slow as you went down. So I don't want to get a little injured here. Then swing your left foot over your right leg. So your left foot is flat on the mat as much as possible. Right foot is extended, nice and active. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, place your right elbow across your left thigh for a nice final twist. You can bring your left hand kind of close to your body. It really helps you get nice and long. So on your inhale, stretch the crown of your head to the ceiling. Exhale, twist your body a little deeper. Gaze over your left shoulder. Come back to center. Extend your left leg. Kind of stick out your legs a little bit. Bend your knees. Extend your arms out long. Slowly make your way all the way down. Bring your knees over your hips, hands behind your head. You're gonna inhale to center. Exhale, bring your right shoulder to your left knee. Come back to center. So opposite shoulder, opposite knee, yogi bicycle. Use your breath. Try to use your muscles instead of momentum to move your body. Go as slow as you want, as fast as you want, doesn't matter. You can straighten your legs, you want something different. Use your breath. Nice work, you guys. Keep it going.
five, four, three, two, and one. Extend your legs long, arms long, deep inhale. Exhale, squeeze your knees into your chest. Grab the back of your thighs. We're gonna rock and roll forward and back. Careful not to roll in your neck. Cross your ankles, roll over your shins. You can rinse it out with another vinyasa or just meet me in downward facing dog. Inhale your left heel up. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Bend your right knee and step up your right pinky to meet your left. Again, find your yogi squat. Pause here for a second, inhale. And exhale, let your hips open a little bit. Now inhale, squeeze everything into the middle. Rise all the way up, nice and slow and controlled. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Heel till your feet to touch. Find that spot on the wall that's not moving. Bring your right elbow into your waist. Lean everything on your left foot. Bend your right foot into your hand. Extend your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, hinge forward. Push your foot into your hand. Extend your left arm long, dancer's pose. Slowly come down. Try to bring your knee into your chest. And then hinge one more time. Right heel to the back of the room. Warrior three, find warrior three, pause here. And slowly melt to the ground. Heel down, arms up to a T, warrior two. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Back heel comes up. Lower your right knee down. Untuck your toe. Straighten and bend your left leg. And then walk your hands or your blocks back. So your left leg is now straight. Foot is flexed, toes pointed to your head. Dig your heel into the mat, engage your hamstrings and pull yourself a little bit back towards your heel. Come back up, release it. Dig your heel into the ground, engage your hamstrings and then try to stretch it towards your heel. One more time, heel, release it. Heel to the mat, engage your hamstrings, pull all the way down if you can. And release it. Now we're gonna try to sit all the way down. Find your half hero pose, whatever that looks like in your body. This side might be different. So active left leg, stand up tall, or sink a little lower to get a deeper quad stretch. Slowly rise up. Swing your right foot over your left leg. Find both sit bones on the ground. Arm to the sky and then twist to the right side of the room. Back to center, extend your right leg long, give it a little shake. Bend your knees, extend your arms to the front of the room and slowly lower down. Bring your knees over your hips, extend your feet over so they're straight up. Hands to either side of your hips. We're just gonna lift and lower using our lower ab. Just small movements. 
use your breath. Really use your lower abdominal, abdominal muscles to lift and lower your leg. Again, take the momentum out of it. You can lift your shoulders off the ground if you want a little bit more. And if you want a little bit more, try to reach your arms up, trying to touch your ankles at the same time. Using your breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. Extend your legs long, arms long. Bring your knees into your chest. Do little circles one way and the other. Place your feet on the ground. Bring your heels close to your sit bones as possible. Keep them hip distance apart. Hands on either side of your hips. Exhale all your air out. Inhale, lift your hips to the sky into bridge pose. Now, if you have a block or some or a book that you want to place underneath your sacrum for supportive bridge, please feel free to take that now. If you're in bridge, you can lift your hips up a little bit higher, squeeze your glutes. You can manipulate your shoulder blades underneath your body, clasp your hands. Try to keep your neck nice and loose. Let go of anything that's underneath you. Lift your heels up and slowly lower your body to the mat. Bring your feet wide on the mat and windshield wipe your knees side to side. Still toe your feet back behind your sit bones. Lift your hips up. One more bridge if you want to take full wheel. If that's in your practice and you're feeling good about it tonight, feel free to take that now. Otherwise, enjoy your bridge or your supportive bridge. Magnetize your heels towards your head and your magnetize your thighs towards one another. Engaging your entire back line, supporting your back. You're in full wheel, bring your chin to your chest and slowly lower all the way down. Everyone else could let go of anything else underneath you. Lift your heels up and lower to the ground. Bring your feet together, knees wide. Supabhata Kanasana, find butterfly. And place your left hand on your heart, your right hand on your tummy. Take a couple breaths here. Place your hands on either side of your thighs. Bring your knees together. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Stick your feet up in the air. You can grab your feet, your shins, your thighs. Find your happy baby. Melt your hips and your shoulder blades to the ground. You can rock side to side. squeeze everything into the middle so grab your shin squeeze your face into your knees flex your feet squeeze into a little ball squeeze 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 and exhale extend your legs long arms to either side of your body I invite you to close your eyes or gaze at the tip of your nose Do a quick body scan. Find the little places in your body that are still holding any tension. Breathe into those little spots. And tell them it's time to let everything go. Nothing else that you need to do. Feel your breath. 
rise and fall in your Shabbat. your heels together, send your arms long, guide your knees into your chest, and roll to your most comforting side, place your head in your hands, just pause here for a moment, thank your body for what it's done. Gently push yourself up to an easy position. 